Well, three teams, two playoff spots, and only two percentage points separating those three teams. As a head coach, more stress or more enjoyable when you're in a race like this? Well, it's more enjoyable. We, we talked to our players about embracing the uh, this time of the season and embracing the race. That was kind of the motto this morning. And you know, for uh, every team, like every uh, every shift, every period, every game is huge for you. And and uh, I think it's exciting to be in this part of the race. And you know, you look at the game the other night against San Antonio. You know, they were chasing us a little bit. That's a big win for us. And and then you watch the your your, your sc- clock watching a little bit. You see. Stockton comes back and beats San Diego with a goalie from Idaho. It's just crazy. So what uh, you know, NHL teams are battling for the playoffs and they're calling your guys up and you're trying to make things work. And that's what it's all about. That's what you sign up for. And, and we told our guys to embrace this. This is exciting. Um, you have to fear it a little bit, but that fear has to drive you. Well, and you mentioned the NHL teams calling players up in the middle of their races. You've got to do a little lineup shuffling. You lose Mike McKenna. Uh, Rope Hintz is back, although he's been up and down in the last 48 hours. So how do you rotate your lineup and your goalies entering uh, tonight's game? Well, that's the, that's the good thing about your veteran players of your team. They're really good at uh, you know explaining to the guys and settling the guys down and, and keeping your dressing room calm. And, and uh, it's all part of the uh, the environment that you're in, and uh, you have to make it work. So, you know, we're trying to get back to some stability with our lines here moving forward. Uh, we'll get a couple guys back tonight, and uh, you know, for us, getting Rupee back, you know, he really hasn't been gone any time. Just missed a day off in a practice and a team picture. But uh, for us, it's just a, you know, we're getting Flynn back and getting Dowling back tonight. It's going to allow us to get back to that stability in our lineup. Are you disappointed that Rope missed the team photo? Uh, well, I think we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll substitute him somehow there, but uh, <laughs> uh, we had a few guys miss it yesterday with illness and sickness. So, uh, Is there an update on Curtis McKenzie? Uh, Mac is still day-to-day. Uh, he is skating with the team now. Um, I think it's uh, he, he's pretty close. Um, there's a chance that he could take warm-up tonight and see where he is, and I think uh, down the stretch we'd most likely see him for sure Friday. And then uh, the Iowa Wild here tonight, fourth and final matchup. You've had some success against this team, but they're a team also fighting for playoff positioning. So how do you approach this game tonight, and what do you expect? Very good team. A good team speed. They've got balanced lines. They've got depth. Uh, Goaltending is obviously pretty solid. Svedberg uh, stole the game for them last time we played them. But they're a team that comes at you hard. They're deactivate. Uh, they're good pressure for check. Uh, you know, Iowa's done a good job of building that club. And with some youth and some new players coming in, they've got a great, you know, veteran presence with uh, Canoni and O'Reilly up front. So they're a team that said they only have 17 losses. I think that's one of the lowest in the whole conference. I think Manitoba's at 15. So a very well-balanced team. Special teams are solid. So I expect it to be uh, another good game. We've had three good games against them. I expect it to be another good one tonight.